Here we go, Friday afternoon Todd Hammer, 2,000 point, the scouring mission in a Sector Imperialis board. We've got uh, an Imperial Soup Army. We've got a Vanguard here with a Venerable Contemptor Dreadnought, a Vexillus Praetor in Alaris Custodian Armor, a Shield Captain, five Alaris Custodians. Then we've got a Battalion of Black Templars, haven't seen them for a while, so welcome back. We've got five Stern Guard Vets, 10 Crusaders, uh, focused on chopping, because we're zealous. The Emperor's Champion, a Captain in Terminator armor, and two five-man Crusader squads. As you can see in there, the uh, Sword Brothers in those Crusader squads have combi plasmas. One has a heavy bolter, one has a heavy grab cannon and amp, and they both have uh, plasma guns in there. And then we have a super heavy auxiliary detachment. This guy's only, well, it's really kind of a debut, to be honest. It's a Knight Paladin. So, here we go. Let's go All right, we're gonna talk on. about Templar deployment. Here are the Stern Guard veterans on a bastion on an objective. Swing it on over, we've got our Knight Paladin. A 10-man Crusader squad with chainswords, bolt pistols, there's a melt in there, a power axe, an Emperor's Champion, Shield Captain. We've got a Captain in Terminator armor. We've got a five-man range Crusader squad with a heavy bolter and a couple plasmas. We've got another Crusader squad over there. We also have a Vex Vexillus Praetor in Terminator armor in the Teleportarium. Use the stratagem to put the Dreadnought up there, and we have the Alaris Custodians in the teleportarium and that is how the templars are shaping up all right a look at death guard deployment we are over here got some poxies and some plague marines on an objective over here we've got grogor the demon prince and his little brother the other demon prince and the big daddy demon prince morty right there out in front we've got a unit of plague marines very shooty we've got a chaos lord backing them up over here we've got a Rhino that is filled with 10 Plague Marines, two five-man squads of very choppy Plague Marines. And then we've got even more Plague Marines over here on this objective. And then in the Teleportarium we've got the Death Shroud and a Lord of Contagion. So here we go. End are. of Imperium Turn 1. Uh, general Advance kind of here on the left flank. Did a little shooting with the uh, Knight Paladin here. Shot the heavy stubbers at the Plague Marines in front of him. Um, we hit. They're gross, didn't hurt them. Took a massive two shots on our 2d6 uh, bat rapid fire battle cam here at Mortarion through the window. Um, wounded him, he didn't care. He's, he's the king of gross, so he didn't really give a shit. Uh, nobody else could really shoot except for this fellow with the heavy bolter. He took a shot right by that delightful behind Stefaner beer. And uh, he did get lucky, he killed himself a plague marine. So going into Death Guard turn okay. one. All right, that is the end of Death Guard turn one. Not a lot to report on the shooting portion of our turn. We did try to do some plasmaing on the knight there. Not a lot of success. We did shoot some Crusaders over there. I think we killed three of them. Um, Morty moved in, uh, and this knight with his, his shield there saved all of the shooting attacks, so Morty decided to just move in and try to do things the Morty way. It went pretty well. We did. We took 16 wounds off. Um, pretty happy with that. He fought back, and uh, the rolling didn't really go Michael's way. And then we did save the uh, the wounds that he did do. So we took no wounds in return. So here we go into the Imperium turn All right, two. Uh, end of Imperium soup turn two. Kind of a crazy turn. Um, you're gonna see a Vexillus Praetor in uh, Lars Custodian Terminator armor right there. He did, uh, did indeed deep strike. We also deep struck that Contemptor Dreadnought um, because of the uh, on Golden Light that came stratagem. We advanced generally with the uh, Crusaders, stayed home here, and stayed home there. The business got done here. The Knight withdrew from Mortarion, shot him, and then charged him again. The Emperor's Champion cho uh, charged, and so did the Shield Captain. Um, we ended up doing a total of 10 wounds to Morty. We did three with the Knight, uh, mainly in shooting with the rapid or the Battle Cannon there. Uh, we did one with the Shield Captain. He, uh, he did great with his D3, rolled a five, got three, DR, stopped two of them, so it was okay, not bad. And then uh, the Emperor's Champion, Loves the God Emperor of Mankind. Did six total wounds to Mortarion. And uh, Morty's little 
uh, Mortal Wound AOE situation actually bracketed the knight, which definitely played. And uh, he took some wounds off the shield captain as well. But uh, Morty fought back and said, no thanks, uh, Imperial Knight. I'm done with you. I'm going to fight these little guys. And uh, this is where we currently stand. All right, that is the end of Death Guard turn two. A lot happened here. So we did fight back. We killed the knight last turn. And then this time we fought the Emperor's Champion. That guy was super dangerous. We killed him. Also had the Chaos Lord make the charge during this turn. Uh, took some wounds off of the uh, Golden Boy here. He is down to one after all of that. We got lucky with the host of plagues and did some mortal wounds to those of us, uh, those people around us. Moving over to this side. We did uh, some of the plague marines jumped out of the rhino. They moved up. They did some shooting, then they made the charge. Overall, we did five wounds on uh, Goldzilla here. Uh, he fought back and killed the crap out of two Plague Marines, so... Overall, that is uh, Death Guard turn two. Imperium turn three. We deep struck the Kingslayers here. With the uh, stratagem within six inches of that uh, Vexillus Praetor and within three inches of the closest enemy. Brought them in. They uh, did try to use their Ballista's Grenade Launchers against these gentlemen here. They're really, really, really disgusting and really, 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 really resilient. So, uh, nothing. They then were really grumpy about that, so they turned their Castellan Axes on Mortarion and killed him. So that was cool. Fun fact there. We then uh, shot with these two Crusader squads at the same really, 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 really disgusting and really, really, really resilient. Plague Marines and didn't do anything. Over here, there was a Chaos Lord <clears throat> of Nurgle and a Shield Captain. They fought to the death. The Chaos Lord killed the Shield Captain. There was a Stratagem Blade, even in death. The Shield Captain fought back and killed him with his dying strokes to Zax. These gentlemen Zerngar vets are continuing to uh, hold down this bastion. Good for them. Over here on the far side, the Contemptor Dreadnought, Venerable Contemptor Dreadnought, received a little bit of fighting from the Plague Marines. We're not going to talk about that, but then he fought back and killed all three of them. These Crusaders with Chainswords are super, super zealous, charged a Rhino, connected, did two wounds, did not get bumped back. And that's the end of Templar, turn three. All right, end of Death Guard, turn three. This Custodes Dreadnought is a real pain. Not as bad as my rolling, though. We had a squad of five playing Marines kitted out to do the business melee. They jumped out of the Rhino. They made the charge. We had two attacks with the Mace of Contagion. We had two attacks with the Power Fist. We had Two attacks with the Flail of Corruption. We did zero damage. We, we barely hit. We couldn't wound. We couldn't do anything to this guy. He fought back. He killed two regular Plague Marines. We're not real pleased about that. Uh, we took a couple of wounds in the shooting in Psychic Face, but that's about it. Grogor came over here. He killed uh, four of the Crusaders. And then these Plague Marines are still just holding down this, this objective. They did some shooting. Over here, we did have to bring out the Death Shroud and the Lord of Contagion. We've got a little Rhino roadblock over here. Uh, we foresee meeting in the middle here on the playground with these Custodes in a minute. Uh, and then we've got the Marines that moved out, and we've got the Poxies holding down this objective. Over here, we did some shooting with these Plague Marines. We nicked two wounds off of this character here. And that is about it for Death Guard. Turn three, um, Imperium is out of command points and we are down to four, heading into the Imperium soup turn. End four. of Imperium turn four. Did some moving and some charging. This Vixillus Praetor moved up, uh, shot and attacked these Plague Marines. These Alaris Sodans in the uh, background there had a shot too. This is the Alpha Plague Marine team. They didn't really care until the Misericordia came out and killed a couple of those guys. 
the Zolaris custodians then proceeded to make a very aggressive charge against a rhino, smashed it into the ground in uh, close combat, which was kind of awesome. And then uh, over here, not super surprising, but one lonely uh, Templar uh, sword brother actually faced off against uh, Grogor. I think he nicked a wound, to be honest, before he was obliterated by the Demon Prince. But uh, praise be to the God Emperor. That was awesome. And then over here, uh, so far the MVP, is this venerable Contemptor Dreadnought. He's uh, faced a couple waves of Plague Marines, and uh, he's still alive. So he's down to one wound, which is... Living on the edge, but he's still uh, holding firm. Took some wounds. His his leg armor is probably pretty dented up at this point. But um, here is where we stand now, and we're going into the Death Guard turn. So ought to be pretty interesting. Okay, at the conclusion of Death Guard turn four, we are happy to report that finally. After ten, two different five-man squads of Plague Marines specifically kitted out to do melee damage, including two Power Fists, two Flails of Corruption, one Bubotic Axe and Mace uh, of Contagion, and a Great Plague Cleaver, we have finally killed the Venerable Contemptor Dreadnought. He did kill seven Plague Marines, but we're going to just overlook that because that was a really long battle, and it's finally over. Um, these Plague Marines are still here. They did some shooting, didn't do much. Um, looking at the whole of our army, if you're wondering why everybody else is over here, it's because we had some Custodes Terminators that made the charge, killed our Rhino, and then we all kind of piled it around, and the uh, it took a Lord of Contagion, the Death Shroud, by the way, who lost one in Overwatch, and two Demon Princes to kill five Oloris Custodian Terminators. That was stressful. I need a drink. Coming up, top of turn five, we are, uh, the uh, Imperial Soup is out of command points. Death Guard has two left. So, turn five, and, come uh, in. Imperium turn five. Did some shooting with those failures over there. Didn't do anything. Uh, we hit. Uh, didn't wound with anyone, an entire five man squad, so that was cool. So, the captain had to show him how it was done. He killed a plague marine there in the far side of the picture. Then, these gentlemen killed another one. So, we killed two total marines. Got a sarge left over there. Knock our way over here. This Vixilis Praetor is still pretty grumpy with these Plague Marines. Killed two of those guys. They fought back. Nothing doing. Relatively uneventful turn, and we're going into DG turn five. All right, end of Death Guard turn five. Um, a lot of the fighting is over with now, and now it is about hauling ass to try to get objectives. So that's what we did. Everybody advanced. If you've got cataphracty armor, you don't advance much, so we just kind of scooched up uh, the Lord of Contagion and the Death Shroud. Plague Marines went around this uh, some debris here we moved up. If you fly, you make a lot better time, though, so Grogor flew over there. He made the charge, and we did uh, get some good rolling here. We were able to kill the... He didn't kill the Praetor. Oh, that's a very good point, the Bacillus Praetor. He didn't kill him. Marine Sergeant, extra ration of rum for him tonight, came through and killed him with his power fist. Well done, sir. Last surviving guy. Uh, other than that, we moved over here. Demon Prince, we got a really good roll on the other Sergeant. 11 inch movement to get within three of that objective, so. That is the end of turn five, and now Michael's gonna roll a dice. Super sad uh, conclusion video here. Um, we already cleaned up the board. But uh, the game ended actually 9 7 Death Guard with 9, uh, Imperium Soup with 7. Imperium did have the superior objective, Death Guard had the inferior objective, and a handful of others. 
really came down to the guy in the middle of the park uh, making his advance roll. But um, yeah, overall, 9-7 Death Guard versus Imperium Soup. Uh, good game overall, kind of wild. And uh, yeah, that's it for tonight.